Let's go! We got to know that we're both getting Professor Pig, Scarecrow, and Clayface in upcoming spin-offs or in upcoming movies. We're not sure yet, but they're going to be in the Batman universe. And that, my dear friends, is exciting news. So today I want to cover exactly how they can fit into the Matt Reeves universe. Uh, but before we do so, make sure to do this, this, and that. But let's get right into it. First off, Scarecrow. Since Matt Reeves has shown us more than just an average superhero movie, I think it's really safe to say that Scarecrow will test Batman psychologically. What I'd like to see would be an episode that takes place kind of like Nothing to Fear from the animated series where Batman hallucinates a lot and sees his dad and he doesn't really feel that good about it. He feels like he's a disappointment to his father. Something in between those lines and not exactly that maybe but something that makes him hallucinate about his past or you know make him question himself more or less i really do hope that it brings in more horror elements like the first movie did rather than sticking to what gotham and batman begins did because i think both of those scarecrow not performances but scarecrow concepts uh, or concepts <laughs> have been a bit underwhelming and I haven't really enjoyed them as much as I hoped I would uh, so I hope we get to see something more like the Arkham Knight style to it. I mean you can't name a super villain Scarecrow and make him focused about fear without being a bit scary. That doesn't really add up. But let's move on to Clayface. Clayface, the villain no one thought we would ever get to see in the Matt Reeves universe and I don't want to be that guy but maybe we won't, or at least not as many other people think. The clay face you want, this guy, is most likely not the clay face we'll get. Clayface's first appearance actually had nothing to do with clay, and I would think Matt Reeves will stick to this version, since at least for now it's been quite grounded. But let's let's move on. Let's listen to what I got to say, okay? So in Clayface's first appearance, he was a serial killer and a B actor and dressed up as a villain in a horror movie that he was in, well, a movie he played in more or less. So that's probably more of the concept we'll get. But honestly, I really hope for an actual Clayface rather than another serial killer because we're moving on to m Professor Pig now and well he is a serial killer so you know that there will be three serial killers in movies and spin-offs it's one of the portrayals many speculate about we that we might get but it's too early to tell and I really don't hope we get that one because well Batman should be grounded to a certain point but his rogue gallery really doesn't have to so Matt Reeves, if you by any chance see this, add me as a younger Robert Pattinson for your upcoming movies and make it a bit wild and crazy. The, the fans really craves this. Let's move on to Professor Pig, who is also a serial killer. I'm so excited to see a relatively new character be introduced on live screen rather than on Gotham, even though they did a magnificent job with the character there, so make sure to check out Gotham. But I really do hope this goes into a little bit more detective storyline, um, especially like from what we've seen in Arkham Knight, that worked really good. Obviously you would have to flesh it out a bit more and not make it repetitive, but I'd like to see something that we haven't seen on the live stream yet, so I really don't hope that he will go for corrupt cops, because that's exactly what we saw in Gotham, plus that will most likely feel a little bit repetitive since the Riddler went after the corrupt. So I hope for something completely new there, but maybe they can, you know, take a little bit of each adaption from both from both Gotham and Arkham Knight and just drag it in and also, well, from comics, obviously. And this could also take the gore in the Batman to the next level. Overall, I'm really excited to see Professor Pig in a live action movie because honestly, that dude freaks me out. And when I first played the Arkham Knight game when I was like 12 years old, I think I pooped my pants when I play, <laughs> played against that guy. I mean, he's freaky as fuck. So seeing him will be so nice. But that was all for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to do this, this, and that. What are your predictions for this rogue gallery that has been confirmed 
to be in upcoming the Batman spin-offs and so on. Comment it down below because I want to know. But this was everything for this video everyone. I hope you have a fantastic evening and I'll see you in the next one. Bat out.